we're going to be doing our makeup on Tessa Autopilot. <laughs> I brought my makeup bag. I feel like Drake with the private driver. I just did the hardest part. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, but wait, will you see me? I'm rolling with the LGBT. Good morning. I woke up in a great mood today. I woke up on the right side of the bed. I was gonna make a joke. I can't tell what offends people anymore. Sometimes I wanna make a joke. I'm not gonna make a joke. Today, we're using the pink cup. You know, when I choose my pink cup over my black, my silver, the gold, the pink is my favorite. So that's how you know it's gonna be a good day. You know what I wanna do today? I wanna give my kitchen a little makeover. I'm gonna show you. All right, ignore the mess and all the dishes that need to be done, but this is my kitchen. Ta-da! I rent my apartment, so it just looks like this. It's just brown, boring. And I feel like I need a change in my life. I also haven't spoken to my life coach in like over a month and I think I'm going insane. And in my head, instead of fixing my problems, what will make me happy is a change of scenery. And that is, ah, redoing my kitchen. <laughs> Okay, I basically saw this YouTuber. I searched up on YouTube, renter-friendly kitchen makeover. And then I saw this girl, daily, or it's a couple channel, daily with the duns, come on. And they have this like, this is an ad, stick on wallpaper that's renter-friendly. So I ordered it, it's on Amazon, come on. And look, they'll get like a hair dryer and then put it around the cabinets and look at the before and after. Before, wait. And here is the finished <gasps> I was so satisfied watching it too, girl. So in my head, I was like, mm, like Kendall Jenner has the green kitchen. How cute would it be for a green kitchen? I was looking at all the, they have all the colors on Amazon. Oh my God, green would be so beautiful. And I was thinking about it, but I was like, you know what? We live on the beach. All of my furniture is blue. So I was like, you know what? I don't know what, a, what, a, what would the vibe be like with a blue kitchen? Lo and behold, I go on Pinterest and find these photos. Oh, oh. Also, I just got my nails done. You notice I'm talking about my nails more? Hi. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm surprising Nikki because I'm not telling her that I'm doing it. Even though she's in Pennsylvania right now, she's renting the other room. And she's going to come back to a blue kitchen, which I think she'll like because we have talked about colored kitchens before. And I'm excited to see her reaction. I'm going to FaceTime her maybe later and I'll surprise her. But I'm pretty sure that the wallpaper was delivered on Amazon. So I'm going to go in my car and pick it up from the mail room. Hi. You want to go outside with me? You want to pick up the mail? <laughs> you ready? You ready to go? <laughs> Ignore my suitcase, I still have to unpack. This is my outfit, it's just from Aloe Yoga, and then my slides are just ego official. Where's my keys? I don't know. Where did I put it last night? Literally looking in every purse that I have. Oh, this is my purse from yesterday. It's probably in this one. What? Where are my keys? I really just bamboozle myself for real. Like, I don't know where I put my stuff. Aha! Okay, let's go. I added a hoodie from Brandy because it's really cold. Let's go. Oh my God. I thought that was a person. What is that? Is that a charger? I don't know. I thought that looks like a human head. It scared the shit. <laughs> okay, what are we picking up today? Also this lighting. I'm gonna talk about zodiac signs real quick. I'm an Aquarius. I don't think I have very much Leo in my chart. Sometimes I feel like a Leo, but Aquarius and Leo are opposite signs. We're six months apart. So we're on the opposite side of the spectrum, which is why I feel like I have a lot of Leo friends, but am I a Leo or am I a narcissist? I feel like all YouTubers are like narcissists. Wait, let me do a thumbnail just in case. Uh, our two packages to pick up. Bing bong. I feel like I used to say beep bop all the time and now I say bing bong. Bing bong just rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. <laughs> Kiss it better, baby. Um, my new favorite thing, actually introduced by Andre, is <laughs> Rehab Remix. Oh my God, he has so many remixes of good songs. And it'll just get me going in the morning. But since we do plan on doing something other than just lay around in bed all day, I decided that I deserve a coffee. Do I deserve it now? Do I deserve it? Do I deserve it? You can have a piece if you want. You definitely deserve it. Oh, don't worry. I'll get it just for you. Dog moan. Nails. Nail truck. <laughs> kiss it, kiss it, better, baby. <laughs> Okay, I can try something new today. Can I try the spinach and Swiss with um, 
ham and cheese. <laughs> and a small iced vanilla latte with almond milk. Oh my god, that was so cute. Did you hear that? They remembered my order. I'm gonna cry. On your love language is acts of service. And they remember little things. <laughs> is that acts of service? That is, right? Huh? Acts of service, quality time, physical touch, gifts. I don't know. Remembering small little things is my love language. That is a fact, though. I know that I just poured a coffee, but I'm rewarding myself with two today. Do I deserve it? Maybe not. Am I getting it anyways? Yes. So I wanted to try something new. Hopefully it's good. Mm -hmm. I got this like spinach and cheese bagel. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Other side. Blue likes to beg and have her peripherals around the sandwich. She likes to get, have a good look at it. Wait a minute. This one's really good. I always do the same thing every day. The jalapeno cheese bagel. It's spicy and cheesy and oh my god, all of the greatest things. But this is actually really good. Yeah. Mm. Also, when I'm driving, I, these are in my way. See it. I went to Disneyland yesterday. Wait, that wasn't yesterday. That was like two days ago. But I'm, I was so happy because I haven't gone to Disney in so long. I used to have a pass. I used to be able to go all the time. But ever since the pandemic, like it closed and seasons passes, like the price went up and it's so expensive now. So I, I didn't get a pass, but it made me so happy. I want to do more Disney vlogs. I used to do Disney vlogs like every other week. I swear to God. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Have quite a bit of packages. I think this one's for my cousin's bachelorette's going this weekend. I have to show you later, but we got her these pajamas that it says bride on it. We got a lot of decorations and it's super cute. Oh, I have to leave my house today. But it's for a good reason. Uh, my manager set up this like interview thing with the Trevor Project, which I love them so much. I'll put a little blurb of what the Trevor Project is, but they're just so amazing and I love everything that they do. So they're worth it leaving the house for. <laughs> I just, I need to wash my hair and I need to not be ugly. I think I'm gonna do a quick shower. And one thing that I kind of been wanting to do, I've been trying to play with my hair more because I always just do the same thing over and over and over with my hair. Kind of do like mermaid waves. See ya on the flip side. So fresh and so clean. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I kind of want to wear this, but I feel like you can kind of see through it. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> but it's like a pride thing, so I feel like you should wear rainbow. They said that we're going to have a purple backdrop. Pink and purple. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But curl my hair. <laughs> I bought it, so it's my hair. Now I'm going to curl the hair that grows out of my head. Let's do a time lapse. I just checked how long it'll take to get to the studio and it's taking 20 extra minutes because of traffic so I was like I need to leave right now <laughs> and I saw this challenge it was probably like a couple years ago where it's doing your makeup on Tesla autopilot I've done it where I've done my hair on Tesla autopilot just like a quick little braid or something like that but it's currently taking me 40 minutes to get to the studio and it's literally just standstill LA traffic so today we're going to be doing our makeup on Tesla autopilot <laughs> I brought my makeup bag and I'm ready I'm gonna even try to do lashes just because we're gonna be on camera but Ah, such a rush. Wait, I need to put my hair up. Okay, the way that you put Tesla Autopilot on is you go on the left side. There's a little lever that you kind of pull towards you twice. That. <laughs> so you go bing bong. And that's how you turn it on. Let me just clip my hair back and we can get started. So the Autopilot feature is my favorite part about my car, especially living in LA. It comes in clutch so much and the way that it works is you basically like it's not self-driving yet when I did buy my car on Tesla they were like one day there's gonna be an update like you know how you update your phone there's gonna be an update on your car where you enter into the GPS where you need to go and your car is just gonna drive you to your destination but it's not approved by the government right now so the features are there they're able to do it it just needs to get approved isn't that crazy but yeah for this one how it is right now you're, you kind of have to be holding on to it and kind of wiggling it a little bit <laughs> just to show the car that you're still paying attention to the road you're still looking at the road but you know girl if you are in LA traffic this baby comes in handy so much for the standstill boring traffic when you just like you know when you're driving you kind of like zone out and you're like how did I get to my destination I've been trying to put my bronzer a little bit higher on my face just because TikTok is always telling me to do this and this you're doing your bronzer wrong blah 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 so I don't know if it actually makes a difference but the GPS says red 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 traffic but I kind of love I feel like I have like my own private driver you know 
know how like Drake's like we just came back from that video you know LA traffic how the city so we were sitting back in my Maybach but I was still <laughs> chilling back in my Maybach I don't know if I know the words sitting on that big bubble still staring at the titties though <laughs> I feel like Drake with a private driver I think today's glam I just kind of want to be regular schmegular natural just maybe like a winged eyeliner I don't think anything crazy and you're able to switch lanes with the autopilot but sometimes I just like to do it myself <laughs> for the longest time I had the lane switch feature off on the Tesla autopilot because I was just nervous but I trust her I was looking into it the autopilot is gnarly on this thing there's so many sensors in the car using my palette <laughs> I'm so sad they took the Adeline X Tarte palette we've officially sold out there's no more left you can't buy it anywhere and I think I have like a couple left in my closet I never want to run out I want to be 80 years old still using my Adeline X Tarte palette honestly the pinnacle and peak of my career <laughs> this is my baby and I never want to run out of it especially the highlight I don't know a single highlighter that can even compare to the highlight that we did when was this 2018 so long my baby so old same with blue she just celebrated her fifth birthday i'm like how are you growing up so quick this lighting oh my goodness i'm gonna do a time lapse this lighting is crazy oh my god i just did the hardest part the lashes <gasps> Okay, when we're going super slow, like this is literally bumper to bumper traffic, it's actually really easy. The only part when it's hard is when everyone's like going, stop, going, stop, going, stop, and it's like, Ugh. also every time, like I feel like every 30 seconds, it makes sure that you're holding on to the steering wheel, and if not, if it doesn't feel your hands on the steering wheel, it'll start glowing up white. If you don't touch it within the next like five seconds, it'll start beeping, and it like forces you to hold on to the steering wheel, and re it really makes sure that you're paying attention, and then it gets you literally three strikes and if you if it beeps three times then autopilot is not activated the rest of the drive oh my god i want to add like a little you know how madison beard is a little like wing on the inside but i'm nervous because i don't have makeup remover i don't know if i'm skilled enough to do that in a moving vehicle <laughs> but all that's left is the lips and then i'm done i'm really surprised at myself i'm like i'm shook that we're able to do this we're still on the highway everyone always asks me what my lip combo is and i literally only use kylie lip kit in the shade kylie like this maybe you know the ulta lip oil maybe the ulta lip oil on top if it have a glossy lip but this is just like my go-to lip and it's my favorite and it matches with my adeline x tart blush like perfectly mm. ah! okay a little setting spray <gasps> I can't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is our exit. Time to get off. Random side note, every Leo I know has a little bit of road rage. Have you guys noticed that? I don't know if that's just like the Leos that I surround myself with. I don't know. <laughs> We're talking about zodiac signs a lot in this vlog. <laughs> Andre, road rage. All my Leo friends, road rage. I get scared when I'm driving with them. I really hope that they have food at the studio because I'm hungry. Okay, I made it. I just told them that I parked, put my makeup away. Also, we're doing pride, so I brought these shoes. I don't know if the shoes are even gonna be in it, but I'm gonna bring it anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. Whoa. I got you. We oh, have okay. all the snacks. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> Get a sandwich. Makeup. We did little touch-ups, but I chowed down on my sandwich. I ate all the grapes. I feel like some people don't take advantage when they're on set of all the snacks, but I do. God, I just got a goodie bag. We just wrapped. I was the last person to be on here. It's currently like 6 p.m. But I'm so happy and I'm excited to open up the bag. I'll open it in the car. But I think we're gonna take a couple photos. There's like a rainbow wall out there. And yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so cute and wholesome. Basically the Trevor Project, um, InBiz. Oh my God, there's another company, but they're celebrating Pride Eve on May 31st. And it's so cute. They gave me these mints. <laughs> and then, ooh. Aww. Yeah, little mug. It's so cute. The little pride mug. Oh my god. With our place. Ooh. So cute. Ah. Oh my god. That was so fun. And everyone there was so nice. They made me so happy. And I also haven't been on set like that in so long. So I was so nervous. <laughs> but they made it so easy. Now time to zippity doo dah out of here. Got dinner. 
pokey. I'm excited. But I'm looking back at all the photos. Tell me why this fucking tag without this entire I had to rip it off. It pissed me off in all the photos. Also, I put one one in front. Do you guys ever do this when you take photos? You're like, oh, it would have looked cuter if I did this. But I did this. Do you ever do that when you when you take photos? You're like, I wish someone told me that my tag was out. But I'm so excited. I think I'm just hangry. I need to eat and then maybe love myself more. Oh, I just made it back, but I need to just change directly into sweatpants. Immediately, yes. Isn't it so much better? I don't know why I did the interview like this. I think I'm overthinking it. You know what I'm overthinking? Oh my God. I just set up for an unboxing of all these boxes, but I decided I think I'm just going to do a separate vlog of the unboxing. That way you guys get two vlogs and I could do more in depth and we could talk about it. Look, I have even more. Oh! crazy one time i think i was traveling i forget who, where it was but um a subscriber went up to me and they were like oh my god you're that youtuber that does all of the unboxings i'm like is that is that what i'm known for now i'm like the yellow girl that like does all the unboxing but watch out blue kitchen coming soon this is what i got on amazon and i can link it i could put it on like my amazon storefront if you guys want i put all my stuff on my amazon storefront it's all my links but i got two of the big ones like they're she's thick and like they're thin i got the thin ones and i was looking at all the reviews because you can see through the wood and it just looks more natural when it's like a little bit see-through and I was also looking at the reviews and they said that it's easy to take off so thank god <laughs> because I'm renting so I'm gonna have to take it off eventually but yeah I'm excited and I don't think I'm gonna do the kitchen today but for sure need to do that this week but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog today's merch shout out of the day goes to 40 OZ babe on Instagram she's wearing her girl supporting girls I don't chase I tracked merch and she looks so good in it also, Casey on Instagram. She said 10 out of 10, best merch I've ever bought. Mm. And Justine, oh my god. Mm, that makes me so happy. I actually, in one of these boxes, I'll show you guys. I have, mm, I don't know if I should show you. I'll show you, I don't go. But I have new merch samples. We're going to be revamping a style that you guys love and sold out so quick. So. <laughs> And then today's tip of the day goes to Williams Paris 257 on Instagram. You just tag me. That's how you become tip of the day. Her tip of the day says, as I take care of my energy, my energy takes care of me. I love this tip of the day because I feel like even with my body, not only my energy, even with my body, when I take care of my body, I feel more confident in it. I'm more proud of it. I have more confidence stepping into a room and just like feeling good about myself. And it's the exact same with my energy. When I take care of my energy, when I cut off talk, people when I make sure that I surround myself with good genuine people when I do things to you know stress relieve myself I have I'll literally show you my wallpaper it just says energy givers and energy takers I posted this on my story before in case you guys wanted to save it but energy givers are like a glass of water sunlight nourishing food exercise laughter cuddles with a pet self-care meditation visualization reading music fresh air friends and family creativity writing journaling setting up intentions and sleep and then energy takers are overthinking screens social media media, clutter, dehydration. That was me today. I needed to drink more water today. <laughs> I think that's why I got a little bit of a headache. An inconsistent sleep pattern, certain foods and alcohol, depending, people pleasing, setting unrealistic goals, unclear and sloppy boundaries, negativity, and going, going, going without rest. I love my wallpaper. I always, it's like so good to just look at it and reflect and relax, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We kind of just like got ready in the Tesla. We did the Pride Eve thing with the Trevor Project, Glad and Project Contrast, which that's gonna be coming out i'll show you guys on all my socials but i'm so excited for that to come out i think i'm gonna make a separate video opening all of these boxes and then tomorrow maybe we can decorate the kitchen i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place same time with you guys bye